see us right now, but <clears throat> it's cold. Look what he got me, guys. Oh. See, this is what Chico, what the? Chico best friends are about. Right? <laughs> I need to make you something, so I feel bad. <laughs> I didn't cough. It was a, it was like I slept on the dog. I was on vacation with my grandma, and the dog was right here between us. And she sneezed in my sandwich, and I was hungry. <laughs> I was sitting there. I, as soon as I interrupted, <laughs> and I was like, oh. my grandma was laughing, and I, I was, I didn't, I was so hungry. I just ended up eating. I know it's was so hungry. I just ate it. <laughs> Chevy, I remember she had a 2000, I think 2000 somewhere, I think it's, yeah, 2000, Chevy Tracker. And I remember being little, like, very, vaguely remember being little in the back seat, and I remember my mom singing along. Dad had every CD. I don't know what it's he takes me back. Home, Better turn it before I start crying. I was crying last night. Tonight, because my mom started talking about graduation day. Oh my and god. Then, and then my and then my 18th birthday, she was really start talking. Oh my god! I'm not even gonna finish talking. I'm not even gonna finish talking about it because I'm already starting to tear up. It's like whoa! It's like growing up. It's like it's a lot to handle. I don't even want to think about graduation, especially when you're mama's boy like me. Yeah, it's hard. You'll always have your mom. I mean, even though, like, what Chef would say, oh, you're not gonna always have your mom. Oh, okay. Sure. She's gonna be around. I know for, darn like, well I'm saying Most of my life. 
right. She's gonna be in my life for the rest of my life, no matter what. If she's dead or if she's not, if if we're not in the same state, same with my dad, like same thing. Like, I mean, just because we're far away or things happen, you know. Really makes you have to be right. It's a hard situation to talk about because you know, it's like your life kind of flashes before your eyes a little bit. Whoa, like, I don't even know where I'm going to college. <laughs> I but I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not even I know sure my... what I want to do. I mean, I kind of like. I kind of, I kind of have, have sat and thought about that before. You know? And I, that I want to do right now. Make me the thing money. that has, you know, brought me a lot of thought and brought me a lot of happiness, you know, just thinking about that is, I'm gonna be 18 in May, and you have to be 18 to be able to sell a car at a car dealership. Cars. I love talking about them. I love anything to do with cars. And all you have to do in the state, in the state of Ohio is go to i think it's like the bnv you know and get sales yeah. test and you can if you pass that you can My get a job at it. a car dealership and right now that's what i that's he actually what I got a, he got a job do. there because you can 17. build up you can build up you know a lot of people you know a lot of people that oh, like he's, you he's got he's made some good money yeah i'm telling you he's got like especially if you work for one of those big three cars like you know dealer dealership group like both towns and it but you know Vendelia, you, can, you know he has all this. Someone like you stuff. would be perfect there because they're trash there. They no they tell you lies just to get you to buy the car. Yeah. I'm honest. I tell you what you want to know. If yes, I have a question about the car, like how much gas mileage does this get, and will it, you know, you know, ec economically, you know, and I can answer that because other people are just gonna say, oh, this car is perfect for that. It has low economy, and then they're sitting there talking about a big Ford, you know, SUV, a big Ford Expedition. Probably it's like out. trash, you know, like gas mileage, and they're telling him, "Oh, it's the greatest gas mileage, just like a little Prius." Right. It's not. You got to tell them. It's true. Cousin, so he, they will come to you and like you, and they know who to ask for when they come in to buy a I car. I don't know much about it, but I know he took that test and he did good, and he got that job at seventeen. And he wasn't selling. Obviously, he wasn't selling. He was actually working mechanically in the building, like working on cars and you know taking them out to the parking lot when they're done whatever you know something like that because i think when i turn 18 i'm gonna ask i'm gonna talk to him i'm literally gonna sit down and talk to him about it like i can get a good job doing this you know if they like me i can actually go and plus, even after school and go and sell right you know you could say I mean, your you may hours. not think i'm much of a people person you know but when it comes down to it, I can be very. Get, you know, get I just don't like having any of my family zone. around when I'm when there's other people around because it just makes me uncomfortable. So when it's just me there, you know, talking to people, I I can it's I can like pretty much talk to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be good. I mean, Plus, I wouldn't have met a lot of the friends at CTC I have now if I weren't, you know, so, social. Yeah, <laughs> his job but he's been there and he's 24 now he you hates know. it but that's because he's at mercedes don't work there i'm not i'm going to work on work for what he does he actually does the mechanic and every other week he has a car that he's on call with and if somebody goes has a flat tire in dayton he's got to go do it i'm planning to work up the ford I really love Ford. Yeah. Ford, my great grandfather on my, I think grandmother's side, he always drove a Ford. Yeah. He never strayed away from Fords, and so my, and then my grandmother got married. They always, I mean, they they get you know another brand of car once in a while, but mainly they stay with Ford. Right. I'm I'm not a big Chevy fan to tell the truth because I've had a few family members who've had Chevys and they've been lemons. So that's why I don't go to shit. And yeah, Fords, well, Fords have always been very reliable, except for the Ford C Max. My mother owns a Ford C Max, and that thing is horrible. It has had so many problems. That's why, you know, that's like the only car night, I've always I've known that has had for Ford that has had problems like, like that. But all the other cars I've known people who've had them, and they say they're very reliable. Yeah, it's like because we were about to freak out, but we were leaving the gym, and his truck was not started. 
and he was like, oh no, like he knows. Cause when the guy, when he bought the car, the guy, it was a pretty much a one owner, mm -hmm. but there was a kid that owned it for like six months that was my age. Mm -hmm. And he wanted, so he's a rich little boy. Mm -hmm. he, he wanted a Mustang. But he took good care of it, and everything was redone in the truck. Mm -hmm. So he knows pretty much everything, like what's done and what's not. So it's like, oh man, I don't know if it's a fuel pump or not. I'm like, why would it be the fuel pump? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, it started after a while. I was like, like oh my god, like. <laughs> Never gonna let you. I hope they invent a time machine so I can spend a week in the 80s, I mean, I mean the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. See, all of that. <laughs> yeah, did it all way. I belong in the rape like a star. School traffic sucks, guys. <laughs> right now, for anyone to pull up in front of me. Look at this. No one pulled up. It's probably this car right here. It is. It's probably that car right there. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to pull up. And I bet we're going to have to wait for the buses now. No, we should be good. Hey, <laughs> stupid. Hi. Right. I know. Go, dude. No, it's, there. it's the right of way. This person has to wait. I know. But it's annoying when people don't look and just go. Mm -hmm. And what are they I thought they were about to go right, right there. Right, that's why I thought. So I was like, like, are wait. you serious? Like, no, they didn't get a shot. Right. Don't even do that. That's not even safe. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at this car behind me. It's cutting the other person off. Mm -mm. That's so annoying. I'm gonna turn, huh? Gonna turn yet? Huh? It's 50 degrees out, and it's January, you guys. <laughs> I can't, I can't pass them now. Why do I have my turn signal on for like 10 minutes? Isn't that work the steering wheel? Right. Stopped right when I started. What if we were just driving and all of a sudden something shot at my car? I would be like driving fast. I'd be hitting the gas. 